After months of intense debate, the European Parliament on Wednesday finally rejected the controversial Anti-Piracy Treaty Acta. With an outstanding majority of 478 negative votes, MEPs decided that no European member states will be able to join the treaty in its current form. ACTA was first proposed in 2007 to counter the trade of counterfeit goods across borders. ACTA has now been rejected by five parliamentary committees. It's been killed so many times that in fact it now only exists thanks to the EPP life support machine. It's time to give it its last right. It's time to allow its friends to mourn and for the rest of us to get on with our lives. Thank you, President. This comes as a big defeat for the European Commission who was a firm supporter of the text. Already on Tuesday, Trade Commissioner Karel de Good warned that they will continue to seek advice on whether ACTA violates any fundamental civil rights. If Parliament votes this treaty down, the Commission will continue to wait for the opinion of the Court and study it closely. Earlier this year, ACTA prompted a wave of protests across Europe and the world. Critics believe the treaty limits internet freedom and reduces online privacy. Supporters, however, defend ACTA as a way of fighting large-scale piracy and intellectual property theft. So far, a total of 31 countries have signed the treaty globally. But without Europe, the power of ACTA will be greatly reduced.